Big up on yourself over on the over on the Instagram there. We're actually on Facebook and we have Insta and we're on Instagram. Yeah. As I want to use both platforms today. Because it's a very important um, conversation. So the people on Instagram, the question is, you may not be able to see some of the things that I'm gonna play in this in this live but um the question today is is it our civil duty to report crimes that is the question um for today is it our civil duty to report crimes all right so welcome to the conversation let's give it another um 30 seconds so we can get the algorithm for um for, for um kick in let us let us let the algorithm play off a little bit. All right. Welcome one and all. Today the reasoning. Today the reason we want to um discuss our civil duty. Yeah, we want to speak on as citizens. Yeah, we want to understand what are others, or or if you are the person have some form of bantering going on, or if you are the person don't grieve, if you are the person don't get along, if you are the person that a quarrel, should it be based on oh, me and that person had a quarrel, me and that person is is not friends, so I'm not gonna report this crime. So case in point, let's say you're not a person have a disagreement, you're not a person in a over thing, you're not a person not chat, you're not a person not deal, you're not a person not good. And you know that that person is molesting a child. Yeah? And a child is scared to speak about the molestation. Yeah? You are going to say, are you? Am I to believe that you, because of you and the person's bantering you're gonna be like oh me no business you know me and the man of friends so me not even report this because you're afraid that someone is going to say you have some form of motives why you reported the crime is that what's happening is that is that is what i'm that, that is what's happening So that means, if me and a person don't get along and I come across what can possibly look, be looked at as a crime, I should not say anything or I should not report it. Do you think that a popular figure, do you think a person Who is regarded as a powerhouse or as an influential person, do you think? Or an activist or an ambassador, do you think if that person's name is called on some form of, or that person's name is called in some form of illegal activities, do you think that person should come forward and explain or address if what is out there is fabricated or what happened or do you think it, do you think anyone owes you an explanation if they are holding certain position in society if they are your ambassador if they are your leader our leaders, excuse me, you think those persons like supposed to come, do you think the Prime Minister, if the Prime Minister, if we find out now, say the Prime Minister got a 14 year old pregnant, do you think the Prime Minister owes us any form of explanation 
or it's okay for the activists them on the internet to tell him to step down. Let's say tomorrow morning we wake up and we see on the internet a birth paper and it has on it Andrew Holness with his middle initial or his middle name. Am I to believe that because all of we, the pan internet we have, or am I to believe that the people them we have bush Andrew Wellness and not tell him to step down? And the people them we tell him to resign, and the people who know say not like him, and the people who say I burn him. Am I to believe that none of those people are going to repost or post a birth paper with Andrew Wellness getting a 14 year old pregnant 30 years ago, 20 years ago? 15 years ago, am I to believe that they would not use that as a means to tell Andrew Wallace to step down? So Andrew Wallace should just work with the JLP people and we are supporting. And everybody's gonna point out only the JLP people them we are supporting and I say, Lord, the man a long time that go on. Uno uno over this, uno just against the prime minister. Yeah, I choose uno not like the prime minister. I uno I do it just to get clout. Uno I do it just for just because uno vindictive. Uno I do it because and I hate the fact that people are doing people are doing this and they're not doing it for the right reasons. They're doing it because them and the prime minister don't get along. Am I to believe that? You would not ask the Prime Minister in a collective manner. We the people would not say to the Prime Minister, you have to explain this. Is it true? Or would it matter? Would it matter if as somebody when I like the Prime Minister Put out the information. Only that say, Oh, no, man. A Damien Crawford put out the information. Kind of like the Prime Minister. And he might try to get clout. A Damien Crawford put it out. Yeah, man. People don't want to pay that no mind. A Damien put it out. Damien don't like the... Yeah, people don't see it a long time. Even when the Prime Minister don't like each other. Damien Crawford put it out. So ask yourself the question. Would the media cover it? Would the media cover it? Would the media be like, yo, they might cry for chat too much, man. We're not bringing a story there. We're not cover it. As a matter of fact, we have a right a story about Damien Crawford I try to expose the Prime Minister. Damien Crawford I try to get clout off of the... As a matter of fact, we have to turn a story against Damien Crawford. Because a Damien Crawford leak it, you know. Hey, if I did anybody else leak it, me would have did address it. But if it's true, Damien Crawford leak it, me not address it. Because Damien Crawford, me know of a fact say him I try to get one back from the Prime Minister. So because Damien Crawford released the information, said the Prime Minister had an affair with a 14-year-old. And people, me not mean literally. Please. Nobody bring the last one. It's a bad We're just using hypothetical. I want you to look up moral turpitude. Look up a thing called moral turpitude. Moral turpitude is a legal concept in the United States and prior to 1976, Canada. That refers to an act or behavior that gravely violates the sentiment or accepted standard of the community. The accepted standard of the community. That's moral turpitude when you violate that. Moral turpitude. The concept of moral turpitude might escape precise definition. 
It has been described as an act of baseness, vileness, or depravity in the private and social duties which a man owes his fellow men. Moral Morality matters. Social duties matter. You owe your fellow men that. Depravity in the private and social duties which a man owes his fellow men or to society in general. Contrary to the accepted and customary rule of right and duty between man and man. The classification of a crime or other conduct as constituting moral turpitude has significance in several, several areas of law. First, a prior conviction, conviction of a crime of moral turpitude or in some jurisdiction, moral turpitude conduct even without a conviction. You hear that? Even without a conviction is considered to have a bearing on the honesty of a witness and might be used for purposes of impeachment of witnesses. Second, offenses involving moral turpitude may be grounds to deny or revoke state professional license such as teaching credentials or denial of an application for public notary. That means if you violate your social duties, you're not even supposed to, you can be denied government documents. Are documents we have to go to the government to get? Or anything where you have to get notarized. That's why them have people, note the people them. The, the, what they call them a Jamaica? The JP them. If you commit acts of moral turpitude or crimes of moral turpitude, you're not even supposed to get your document stamped. You know? So not because a person get convicted of a crime that means it's not moral turpitude, people. Can you address such? Is it your civil duty to address such? Are Vegas too enough? Me now I hear it from him. Me I wait from the media. How are you going to wait on the media when they are the ones who are trying to cover up what you should know? How are you going to wait on the media when the media is a part of the system, a part of the cover up, a part of the System where only reports, only reports on people who are more vulnerable, people who are underprivileged, they don't care about people with status because you can buy your way out. You can make phone calls, you can get favors. So they don't really care about where you uh, are, where were you interested in? So ask yourself the question. Should you be given an explanation? Regardless of who release the document should you be given an explanation for somebody who you are a fan of 
If a paper come out, a bird paper come out, say Mr. Vegas got a 14 year old pregnant. Do I owe you an apology? Or a statement? Or a denial? Or something? Should I allow my minions to defend me? What that says about me? Especially if I'm out there defending R. Kelly. How could you know that I got a 14 year old pregnant and you see me out there defending R. Kelly or speaking objectively about R. Kelly even though you know he married to Alia when she was a child. Even though you so we saw videos where them say R. Kelly, even though the people them presented the information and 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 we have the case file. I see a person defending R. Kelly with what I believe to be a crime hanging over them head. And I don't say to myself, what oh, the man you defend R. Kelly? Wonder if him still do that something I went do. How many years ago? What if the man is like R. Kelly in a dance hall? Why am I defend R. Kelly? Am I not to be like, yo, you know, so me concern, you know, say that yeah. Me have the documents here before them pass the act in 2020, and we're gonna get into that. So in case you wanted to run with some legal thing, me, go, me covered long time. Can me not do things like dummy like some of you. I have a associate degree, so I kind of do some background before I publish things. So I want to calm down. Calm down ZJ Sparks with a repost. So I'm supposed to see a person out there a stand with R. Kelly and know that a person here committed in what uh, let me say allegedly committed the car them said the document no enough allegedly committed an act of statutory rape and i don't say what if the money has still a touch of liquor fitness there because me and the person no see eye to eye listen to me people you got always a bantering you know any organization Well, there comes a time when you have to say, yo, what matters more? The well-being of the people. Or am I supposed to protect the culprits, the perpetrators? Who am I protecting? And why it has to be a Vegas so I don't want to see it. Would you want to see it if somebody has released it? Well then, if that is a yes, remove Vegas from the picture. Do not mention me when you speak about it. It's simple as that, you know. Don't even mention me when you speak about it. You see the information, you don't even want to say you don't want to say it is a legit document. Take off the document. The the the, 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 um, the certificate number and go fact check it yourself. You don't have to even call my name in the media people. You don't have to call my name. Even the things that Mr. Vegas are look clout. Because remember, you know, when we spoke about the predator that molested the little boy in America, and I spoke about that, I don't know that man yeah. The man here said, him know me because he used to manage a place where him used to work. I don't, I don't know this man. I don't know this man. You know. So it's something me and a man they have where me talk about him. But then you said, oh, leave the man alone and talk about the people in your industry. Alright, cool. A piece of information is here and everybody has this information. But everybody sitting, sitting on this information. So I see a reason to release the information because I see the person out there calling women 
All the manner of names. Because women are saying, believe us when you hear us cry out. I see a man out there. Equating situations to R. Kelly's situation. And in my opinion, R. Kelly is a predator. Well, it's not even my opinion because he was convicted. So if I see people that I know have a little R. Kelly in them, I mustn't talk. So what if that person is still operating or behaving in that manner that he was behaving in 20 or 25 years ago or 30 years ago because me personally think once a man love look up it he not change that's my opinion me still think say a 21 year old is not a child to be messing with a 14 year old me believe that and my daughter, she was just 14 last year and she was just a baby. She was just a little baby. My daughter was like, come on, that, that's a baby. I wouldn't want to see a 21-year-old pull up on my gate. So am I to believe, am I to believe that this is we stand out for society? If we say it's okay because they were, they were young children? Okay. Let us see what the media has to say, people. So this morning I saw this article and it was posted by one of the disc jockeys from the popular radio station in Jamaica, Zip, Zip FM. And, and I saw this article from ZJ Sparks. She shared it on her page and quickly removed it because she, maybe she thought that when she posted the article, of course they were going to rip me to pieces. But it seems as if the people... We're not ripping me to pieces, so she deleted it. Because the people who did not know about the, 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 the birth paper or the birth certificate, they were like, no, this is not a good look. We need to hear from the general. So them can't talk about the general who has gone into hibernation. So they want to talk about me. And I want you to believe that I am the one who got a 14-year-old pregnant. So them can't ask the general for an interview. So them call me for put me on the front page of them paper so uno can go in a wolf mode. So uno can rip and tear and then them come to ask say majority of the people are Letting Mr. Vegas know that he is seeking attention. Because they never yet mentioned you, the decent people of society, you know. Them don't mention you, you know. It's always them highlight. What them do? Them highlight the people them we have something, what the people them we agree with pedophilia and rapist and people who committed act of statutory rape. Those are the people that they speak about when they write in their, their articles. Oh, the people, majority of the people said Mr. Vegas need to go sit down and usher him out. They don't care about you. You would think, no sir, these are my artists, but me need to hear how this go. So this is what I woke up to. Mr. Vegas blast media for ignoring his bounty killer birth certificate allegations. <laughs> Excuse me. And this is from a writer 
who has been practicing journalism for 17 years. Her name is Claudia Gardner. And yes, she's a female, if you missed the name, Claudia. I went through her, her site, I guess, that she's posting and writing. Still looking for the Tanya Stevens article. Or other rape victims. Are victims of rape. So she was said, according to her, Mr. Vegas has expressed outrage that members of mainstream media have not given him the traction he says he deserves after he posted what he alleges to be a birth certificate of Bounty Killer's first child on social media, whom he asserts was born to a teenage mother when the copper shot artist. Was 21. So there you go with the media taking it for an idiot. The media he personal them, writing them article and trying to fly stuff over your head and act as if everybody don't have foo food. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is the introduction. Mr. Vegas has expressed outrage that members of the mainstream media have not given him the traction. He says he deserves, he says he deserves, after he posted what he alleges to be a birth certificate of Bounty Killer's first child on social media, whom he asserts was born to a teenage, catch that word, teenage, she was 19. You're not even bad about checking her, because she did not see the birth paper. So she gave you a vague... See what I mean, say? Peace article. So most of you only read a first paragraph or first two lines and see the attraction in my look, my look attention. Lock it up. I can't read no more. Boom. I don't want to read no more. Oh, she had a teenager. Yes, yeah, she had it 18. This is a journalist who has been practicing journalism for 17 years. But she grab you. Because what? She have a nice picture up of Mr. Vegas. I don't know me get nobody pregnant at 14. Or when she was 14. But am I picture? He better should he just write say Mr. Vegas got a 14 year old pregnant. If she gonna use my picture. That is the media for you. It's not just this alone people. I know this alone. Them cover up everything too. You just know about this now because me a talk about it. You just know about this now because me a share it with Uno. You know what I'm saying? You just know about this. I mean, just I show you how them write them article so them just mislead you like the Pied Piper and you just follow them and drown. Are the system people? You believe. That if it were the other way around, she would have did not. She would have did, she would have did, she would have did omit. Right? You think she would have did omit the 14 or 15 year old? Because according to the birth paper, you know, this child is, it's 90% that this child was 14. 